Deputy Assistant Secretary Johnson Fritz, Executive Director Russell Xiao, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to thank the Global Taiwan Institute for hosting this timely and meaningful webinar. Though I cannot be there in person, I'm glad to have this opportunity to say a few words about Taiwan's role in the global governance and in particular how Taiwan can help and is helping to stop the COVID-19 outbreaks. Owing to the lack of transparency within China at the very onset of the virus, COVID-19 has rapidly spread across the globe. Under these circumstances, almost no country has remained unaffected. Fortunately, since we learned the lesson in a hard way during the 2003 SARS outbreak, this time around, Taiwan has adopted a series of response to effectively contain the COVID-19 outbreak. The major actions we have taken include advanced preparations and early response, openness and transparency in terms of information sharing, public-private partnership, and technology solutions. I'm sure my techro colleague will share more details about the Taiwan model during the panel discussion later. Taiwan's acute observations and swift responses from the beginning, including its dedication of national resources to building new production lines for medical supplies, paved the way for efforts to be direct, directed later toward providing international humanitarian assistance. On March 18th, Taiwan and the U.S. issued a joint statement on a partnership against coronavirus facilitating cooperation in research and development of rapid tests, as well as research and production of vaccines and medicine. On April 1st, President Tsai announced a donation of 10 million medical masks to the United States, EU member states, and diplomatic allies for distribution to their frontline medical personnel. A second round of donations totaling 7 million masks were shipped to Japan, New Southbound Policy Partner countries, and other severely impacted countries. Taiwan is also working with the medical research centers in other countries to develop rapid test kits and vaccines. All of these efforts demonstrate that Taiwan can help and Taiwan is helping. On the contrary, in the midst of uh, COVID-19 outbreaks, the Chinese Communist regime has launched a large-scale global propaganda campaign to sell a narrative that authoritarian regimes are superior and more effective than democratic countries in managing crises. However, the Taiwan model has proved that transparency and accountability help build stronger trust between the government and its people. And this trust leads to public participation by the vibrant civil society with joint efforts to counter the outbreak. This model of governance is worth sharing and is undoubtedly a better path for democratic countries in dealing with the outbreak. The COVID-19 pandemic has once again showcased the urgent need to include Taiwan in the global pandemic response system, such as the World Health Organization. While diplomatic allies and more and more like-minded countries have supported Taiwan's participation in the WHO, Beijing continues maintaining strong political opposition. Yet, as we know, infectious diseases know no borders, and the politics should not override human rights and the health of people worldwide. In this era of globalization, Taiwan should not have a fight solitary battle. Nor should the WHO ignore any country's contributions to global health and safety. Here, I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the U.S. Administration and Congress for its bipartisan support for Taiwan's participation in the WHO, as well as their efforts in expanding Taiwan's international space over the years. Taiwan has always been a proactive and responsible member of the international community, especially 
in the area of public health. We will be happy to share our advanced medical and healthcare technologies, experiences, and best practices with the global community to overcome challenges to public health. As part of these efforts, yesterday I participated in the GCTF online workshop on combating disinformation on COVID-19. Given the importance of being able to have timely and accurate information at a time like this. Other workshops are being planned for the next few months where Taiwan can share its best practices in disease prevention with the international community. In closing, let me emphasize that Taiwan is always willing and able to serve as a partner in protecting global public health, whether it's in the region or around the world. Efforts to combat the spread of communicable diseases or any emerging global challenges require nations worldwide to share their successful experiences and work together. Taiwan will continue to work with U.S., our diplomatic allies, and like-minded countries to safeguard the health and well-being of the international community. Thank you again, and I hope you have a fruitful discussion ahead.